Hello and greetings once again fellow guild gamers and survivors. This is Small Archangel and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Insane in Navas Gain. It is the morning of day 3 and we are here in our little uh, sort of suburb close to uh, Spillway Lake which is kind of down this way somewhere um, where we fought our way into this sort of prefab which is going to be our base for the time being probably for the first horde and we have completed our first survival quest which means that we know where the trader is and serendipitously it is right there virtually on our doorstep so we're definitely going to go and check that out today uh, overnight I have done pretty much all I could do overnight. I've trashed some of the furniture which we don't really need and is in the way and I've repaired some of the damage uh, that was caused by a zombie in this place in the first place I think and I've boarded up all the windows and I have also created an entrance exit here uh, because I thought this might be an easier way to come and go from our building. Look at that, some zombies already trashed this. There was a zombie kind of attacked the wheelie bin out here last night, so I just broke it this morning. I just trashed it. I just thought, right, well, it's not going to do any good there. I have to jump up on it to get up my ladder anyway, which is probably not a good thing. So there we go. So um, first things first then, what I really want to do, we've kind of <laughs> um, boarded up this doorway here. But there is nothing stopping the zombies from attacking the front of the prefab, which is basically a shop, but not not really open for business. Uh, and it looks like one's been in here already, so we're going to start out by fortifying in here. And uh, I've got some frames. I made a few last night. Oops. So let's just board this all up. Oops. You can see I've boarded some of the windows up already because I don't fancy the idea really of zombies getting in underneath our base and we'll board that up better when we get more materials basically. Um, but that will kind of do for the time being. Uh, oh, that's random. I forgot I put that in there. Okay. And we've got a lot of iron here. We'll probably uh, trash the shelves here for for the iron. And these cabinets aren't actually cabinets. So, yes, we might well take these. But I don't know that it's really going to be worthwhile. So, uh, so yeah, we've got a ladder that we can get. So we can get into here ourselves. Um, let's just check, make sure there's nothing in here. And um, we might at some point make that into some sort of kill zone because that might be quite good between those pillars. I'm not sure yet. Um, but at the moment, I think I would kind of rather uh, have the downstairs. I don't know. I'd rather sort of try and keep the zombies out of here, really. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of that. And we've got an open gap there, which I didn't quite mean to do, I don't think. I don't think that was deliberate. Just can't see very much at night. And then this, whoops, is the hatch into our base. There we go. So, yes, what I'm thinking of doing, of course, is having our base up here. Oh, no, I didn't come up here last night because it was raining. Um, and, yeah, what I'm going to do, I think, probably, is scrap that make a bit of a shelter up here and then our base is going to be up here sort of more out of the way of the zombies of course we're going to have to put some sort of shelf up around the outside to stop the spiders and we're also going to make a hatch uh yeah let's make a scrap iron hatch why not uh that's going to take a little while i will put that hatch over here of course uh let's just put our stuff away in this chest we've got a little bit of paper we've got a bit of meat we've got a bit of blo broken glass we've got that now we haven't got any good parts yet so we'll just put those there there we go we've got our hatch now so let's place that up here hatch we've got no food in my inventory whatsoever now we probably want that to open to the side don't we 
like that. That's great. Okay, and I don't think we're really going to need to upgrade that at this point. Let's not worry about it too much anyway. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to head for the trader. Um, oops. Oh my goodness, that was not good. And neither is the fact there's a load of zombies over here. Okay, I think we attracted a slight horde overnight. I think last night we actually mostly managed to kill all the zombies in the town. However, there are, of course, the ones that still sort of roam around. And at this point, I'm just going to have to make sure that it's just these two chasing me. Because if it's more than that, and they suck a punch me from behind, we're in trouble. The health I have is hard fought. And hard one. Oh my gosh, what with the trees? No! Oh my god, what is going on? My, get, my feet are getting stuck on something random. I didn't think lead was sticky. And that is really not something we could afford. Oh, and I forgot to mention my exciting find. Last night I found... Or was it first thing this morning? I'm not sure. First thing this morning, maybe, I found... Uh... I might take that sham sandwich, actually, just because we have got a use for them eventually. I found in this car here, I found a hoe. It's a pretty crappy one, but it's a hoe, uh, so that's actually pretty good. So uh, we're going to put that in our stores already, and so we're going to be able to make ourselves some sort of garden as soon as we've got some seeds to plant. Okay, so that, that is that. Okay, so we should be fairly safe now to head off to the traders. Uh, the other thing that we have to do is grab our stuff from the building that we originally came to when we first got here. It must be this one with a big, big old hole in the wall. <laughs> that would be right. Um, and we may as well have those wooden frames as well. Let's face it, they're going to be kind of useful. Um, particularly for getting up there, actually, because... Uh, Let's just check this filing cabinet. I might as well just go around the outside, um, around the inside rather, up here and see if we can find anything. In some ways, they see there's our bedroll. <laughs> and we put a load of stuff in there, so we'll grab that back. And then we'll just check to see, because we didn't really have the time previously. We will just check to see. Oh, nice. Read McDivers. Okay, and we'll just see if there's anything useful in here at all. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good as well. We can, we can regain a bit of health with those. I don't like them. I really don't like, like the idea of a reg. Hello. And some coffee beans. Brilliant. Well, this is getting better and better. We'll uh, scrap that trophy and we'll have that. Oh, dude, where did that come from? I shall wear that. I thought I was wearing that, actually. That's very peculiar. Okay, and this is where it looks kind of like our own up here. So we'll just scrap all this stuff. Whoops, we'll just loot all these cupboards. Scrap all the tin cans we find. Excuse my sniffles, by the way. Let's scrap those. And maybe I'll break into here as well. In some ways, the taller buildings can make better bases because they're, well, taller. But in others, I don't know, really. Oh, nice. We might wear those. Yeah, because these, yeah, we'll scrap those. And let's see, should we wear those? Do, does that does that actually give us any kind of advantage at all? Probably not, to be honest. Uh, oh, pistol. Nice. And yes, we'll even have the human turds because we can make fertilizer with those more efficiently than we can make fertilizer out of um what's the other thing rotting flesh i'm not sure that's very helpful really so let's just yeah we may as well put that on as well so we're looking a little bit more let's see we're looking a little bit actually we're looking flaming scary with the nerdy glasses um but uh, and the the overalls and stuff but you can't have everything can you so Okay, we've more or less looted this place. This place has got massive hole in the side wall down here, of course. I don't know. We could change our mind. We could fill that in easy enough. We could change our mind and sort of make this into our base, I guess. Nothing is set in stone at this point. I have not done that much upgrading yet. 
out of shav sandwich. We may as well take that. And we'll do that just to give us the opportunity, I suppose, to upgrade this place if we really want to. Uh, and no, we're not going to interact with the vending machine. There's not a lot of point, really. Uh, yeah, it's pretty trash down here, isn't it? Good old Steve. He had a pretty good go at it. Right, now we're going to arm ourselves and we're going to head off to our... Head off to the trader. I don't know if we've got anything to sell here. We've got shotgun parts and a flashlight and pistol and things. Flashlight? I don't know. I kind of... I'm not sure I really want to keep the guns at the moment, so we might just sell them. But, but, but to what end? I'm not sure if we really need to sell them. There's a pig there. We could probably do with Porky's meat if we can get it and some hide the two. He's dead. Wow. I didn't realise I packed that much of a punch. Okay. We've got a shiv. We've got that from one of the zombies I killed yesterday. Let's... Yeah, we're attracting zombies, which is not really what we want, but we definitely need food. We're down to 39% now. I've only got one level in the survivor perk. So we get through pretty quick. Okay, and let's just see if there's anything in this tree stump. Worn boots. Let's repair. That isn't actually what I meant. I meant to scrap them. I swear they've turned those around. Either that or I'm just having an incompetent moment. Of course, we have been this way before. We came this way yesterday when we were fighting. Oh, hello, pig. Well, we've got one. We may as well take the other. He already knows. He can smell his brother on us. Oh, in fact, there's two. Oh, my gosh. It's pig central. This is good. Except that while we're trying to lose one, he's dead. Wow, they really don't take much killing these pigs now. This is probably a good thing. But we're going to benefit from this as much as we possibly can. And I ain't selling it to the trader because it's far too valuable. And those hides are going to be useful too. We can make ourselves some armour once we just crack a book and learn the recipes, that is. Okay, let's just take the axe for that. We're going to need another axe, so let's make another one. I have put my durability, block durability, up to 50%, and I will gradually increase it as we go. Um, but yes, uh, it's not feeling like it's at 50%, and I'm just wondering if I'm suffering from the old persistent settings bug, which seems to sort of set, put the same settings on absolutely every one of... Oh, here we go. Here's our trader station. Yeah, on every one of my games, which uh, isn't ever so helpful. Okay, so this... Yep, full no money back guarantee. Let's go on in and see which of the traders is going to totally fail to welcome me to Trader Joel's. Oh, coffee beans. We may as well steal the coffee beans. Why the heck not? They're not going to give us anything else for free. Okay, so we've got some vending machines there. Some bed rolls, but yeah, we don't need a bed roll. All right. And some good use of the zombie. Uh, oh, some good use of sort of tree housey type. Okay, yeah. So I guess that's the kind of tree house that we're going to be able to make. Let's go up here because I'm guessing that this is where we find the trader. Oh, here he is. And which trader are you? Trader Joel. You're actually you Joel. Need assistance. Okay. Uh, just wondering how much you'll give me for this. Thirty-six. Okay, and uh, that, 94. Well, that might actually be quite handy, but I think I will sell him that just because it's not ever so useful to us. The wrench is way too valuable, and we're going to keep the ammo just because it takes quite a long time to build that up. Human turd, he will not, no sell price, you don't say. Bedrolls, six, no sell price. Okay, that's fairly rubbish as well then. Okay, I don't think I've got anything else I really want to sell him. Oh, 349. Do you know what? We're unlikely to use that. I do have a shotgun back at base. I don't tend to use pistols so much because... Um, much obliged, stranger. Because they're rubbish, frankly. Pistols are rubbish. Yeah, quite like this setup with the treehouse stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and there is... <laughs> A workbench, but yeah, this is not a workbench that we're going to be able to take with our wrench, is it? We want one, but maybe we'll be able to find one from somewhere else, from one of our 
uh, one of the prefab stores around the joint. So there we go. That is Trader Joel's. It's uh, one of the smaller ones, perhaps. Tra Trader, Trader Joel in Trader Joel's. Okay, so how are we doing for stuff? I've got a, a full inventory, so we're going to head on back. We're going to put away the incriminating meat. And then what I think we'll do is we'll head for Cracker Book, because we're not far from Cracker Book. So we'll head for there, and then uh, we'll do a bit of reading. Well, we'll do a bit of zombie killing first, and we'll try not to get killed ourselves. Uh, I think we probably need to eat something. I'm not sure if I've got anything to eat, but if we have, we'll eat it. Oh, wow. Mini bike wheels. Do you know what? We could sell them for quite a bomb, actually. But the other thing we probably want to do with those is keep them and actually, you know, uh, make a bike. So, I'm just going to get myself a few more stones because we don't half get through the arrows in this game. And then, do we have a backpack or something here? We have a duffel bag. Nice. Oh, look, you see, I just, yeah, I am now full and I want that club. Uh, do you know what? This one's rubbish. Let's just scrap it and we'll grab that one instead. Okay, although I could have dropped my axe, I guess, because that's pretty much trashed anyway. Yeah, those, uh, those tires can be quite a good source of income, actually. I'm guessing when we get into this, we're going to, we're going to, you know, make ourselves some serious cash eventually. Okay, now which one's mine? Here's this one. Here's this one. So let's head it up. Stash the stuff. No, not there. Here. Stash the stuff. I kind of organised it a little bit better. We've got bed rolls. Oh, I'll just pull those there for the moment. We've got shotgun shells. We've got that. We've got that. Mini bike wheels I'll just put there. There's a hoe. Very exciting. Torch. Uh, raw meat, we've got animal hides, which we didn't have any of before, bone, egg, blood bags I might just keep there actually because they're quite good, um, shab sandwich, jukes tokens because I don't want to die and lose them, got that there, metal, lead, alright, ow, oh, and turds, yes we've actually got a pile of turds as well, and coffee beans. Fantastic, and I think I might put my wood frames in there as well. I don't think we're likely to need the wood frames today. And I've got a, co a coat just in case. Oh, and pistol parts. When we get organised, I will have somewhere where we can put stuff that we're actually just planning on selling. But for the moment, it might be quite good to uh, get the experience of using guns and or um, uh, putting them together and what have you. Look at all these zombies. There's a... Uh, Nothing left in them though. We've checked them all. We haven't checked everywhere in the neighbourhood, of course, so there could be something very tasty hiding in a local car or mailbox. Probably not the mailbox, to be fair. But time is wasting, so that's nice. That's another battery, actually. I will, I will definitely take that. Okay, time's a wasting, so we will get on. And, in point of fact, let me just make a new bow. Because that one's a bit rubbish. I'm sure we can do better than that now. Although that leaves me kind of without anything to shoot zombies with. But we've cleared this area, so we should be okay. And Cracker Book is just there. And we're going to mark it on the map. We know it's Cracker Book, but I like to make sure I remember later too. There we go. Now, have we got a bow now? We haven't, because that's good. Do you know what? We can't afford that. That's got to. It's going to take way, way, way too long. And I've got to be armed. Here we go. Not bad at all. There we go. Now we're good to go. Now we're going to have a few zombies to fight here because I'm pretty sure we did not take those on in the last episode. We did not. We might have looted that car, but we did not take all the zombies. We just ran straight past them because we evening was drawing in and we had to deal with all the ones back at the ranch there there's a pig there it's very tempting but perhaps if he's there still when we come back but for the moment i'm expecting that there's going to be some zeds here there's one over there oh it's a nurse hello nancy top of the evening to you and straight in the neck not bad shot yeah, well, it's not she's the only one I can deal with. I don't know what's up to the others because 
That was a deer, I think, over there. In the face. Okay, I'm a little bit worried that there's others around, but I don't think there is, actually. Not very close by, at least. Okay, she's down. Yes, and she's staying down. No, she does not have anything for us. Okay, now, I think I looted that in passing last time. I didn't loot the car, because we didn't have time to look at a car. It takes a few seconds to look at a car. There's nothing there anyway. And we're going to need to break down the door, and it's probably going to be kind of, kind of dark in here. And I don't fancy using melee, so... Yeah, that one's trashed. Scrap it. I've got a new one. Level 13. Go me. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. I'm just going to listen because... I want to make sure that there's no zombies about to you know, sort of come into the store and chew our heads off. Because that would not be good. But I also want to get on. So... I may as well take paper. We'll need it at some point, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Well, an entire store, an entire bookshop, and what do we get? About three recipes, which is why I decided I had to take the leather from the sofas and things as well, just to make it worth my while. Uh, now, we didn't break into the back. Uh, yeah, it might be worthwhile on doing it. You never know what you might find, so if we're going to do this job, we might, might as well do it properly. Hello, another wrench. Not a bad thing to have a spare wrench, I don't think. Very valuable items now. Oh, hello. Yes, I'll take all of that. Oh, blue. Yeah, that's good stuff. Nope. And some murky water. Well, we can stick that straight in the cooker when we get back, which would be ace. Dog food. Mm-mm. Coffee beans. Yeah, we've got quite a few of those now. We may as well scrap the dog food. Okay, and I don't know if there's going to be anything through here. It's coming up to 8 o'clock. I am watching this time. Night running is not on my plan. Crap. I can hear zombies. More than one, possibly? In which case, I'm going to... Decide that Caldus is a better part of Valor here, and run away. If there's any zombies, if there's one zombie, I'll take him on. There is a zombie, certainly. It's, oh, it's another nurse. I think we might just take her on, because we don't want her going in there and destroying stuff. Oh gosh, there's another one coming now. Whoa, we've got to hit her while she's down. Uh, but there's another one coming now. Oh, no. No! And another. Oh, crap. Maybe I ought to just ignore these. <sighs> but I want to get the kill on that nurse now. It shouldn't take much to kill her now, should it? She says. Oh, yes. She's down. If I don't kill any of the others, at least I'll kill her. There's a crawler coming also. She's down. Oh, my gosh. This was she dead? Did I get her? I got her. She might have food. We need food. She has food. Nice. You know what? Give the time. Maybe I won't take on the crawler. Or maybe I will. Be good for our pummel exercise. It's my zombie killing exercise class. And it really will take some serious exercise. Look at this. Especially since my... Yeah, let's just try shooting him in the head, shall we? Because we're really not very good at doing that. Oh, come on. Just admit it. You're going to die. 
and it's 2106. Seriously. Just die! Oh my god, he's a pincushion. Oh my goodness, please, will you just die? He won't die. Oh my gosh. You're just trying to keep me out of the dark, aren't you? Swine. Right, we're having that and we are off. Where's base? Too far away, probably. Let's just get this chili. And then at least we can eat on the move. Because we need to. My stuff has been grumbling. <gasps> yep. Well, now we've got some water as well. And now we're in a rather better audition this is cool and we're not that far from home so we should be able to get back to home actually without too much difficulty so we learned all of three recipes there which was not terrific oh gosh there's another zombie there but you know what i'm just going to ignore him completely and hope he doesn't see me because i can't i really can't be bothered taking on another zed at this point not really when i run out of poof before we oh actually we're not doing too badly not doing too badly. Hopefully we'll get back without any zombies seeing us and beating crap out of the place. Alright, here we go. Nice! Nicely done. Okay, so we've got some bottled water we can make. And we're going to do that. And then we've got a lot of other stuff that we can put into here. Uh, including some things that we haven't actually got space for. Terrific. Okay, well, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, that's kind of a good sign, I guess. I've got painkillers now as well, which is good. Got that, that, that. We can put all those in somewhere, and that can go there. And I want to leave a wrench in here as well. And we've got a shopping basket there, and a load more paper there. So I don't know. I think we're just going to need to make some more chests and things in here. But I think in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to start building our base proper on top of uh, this prefab, on top of this building. So it'll be day four and we'll need to seriously start thinking about how we're going to fight the horde. Now this is probably done. Not quite, no, it's got ten seconds to run. But that's going to give him some more water, which is good. And then we may possibly be able to make ourselves some food as well. We've got quite a few eggs in here, so... Uh, we haven't got that much water. One random bottle of it there. So I'm not sure. We can't really afford to use the water we've got to make boiled eggs with at this point. I've got some cans of miso, so we'll uh, we'll use those for the minute. And we could probably turn that off now. Nice. There we go. So we're not doing too badly considering. And as I said before uh we will up our settings as we go so we'll make it more more challenging or at least keep it as challenging as it currently is but in the next episode we will be starting to build the uh base proper on top of this structure i think we will stay where we are in this building here and uh yeah we will want to be thinking about how we're going to face the horde how we're going to fight them and possibly subsequent hordes whether we're going to stay here long term or whether we're going to i want to stay somewhere near the trader that sounds like a good idea uh the nav map may well have more than one trader on in fact i think it does i just don't know where the others are at all that's only one i know where it is um and it was the nearest one to us and it's pretty near actually so i think we'll probably stay here for a while maybe for the first couple of hordes i don't know we shall wait and see anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did you know what to do show your appreciation by hitting that like button also feel free to leave a comment uh hints suggestions uh anything else and uh, until the next video keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy bye bye for now